Let's get to our great, <laughs> great guest uh, on Be Terrific. You've, you've seen this guy before. Yes, we've, um, we've had him on Photo Plus, CES, and uh, his name is Nicole Wiles. He's from a company called Pro Drones, which, um, well, not anymore. Not I mean, anymore. they changed their name last night because they said, you know what, Pro Drones is a cool name, but we're more about, you know, everything else. GDU is the name of the company now, or that's the abbreviation. Global Correct. Drone Union. Global Drone Union? Yes. Uh, we made a, a difficult but uh, necessary decision. Mm -hmm. uh, very last minute, we really wanted to hit NAB as hard as we could. Um, a lot of people that have been out there and, and are fans of what was ProDrone uh, uh, have been wanting the product, have been needing that product to come out, uh, and have been hitting us up on social media asking when is it going to be shipped. Uh, finally today we were able to tell them why there was some delays, uh, both in production and in shipping. It all came down to the very fun aspect yeah. of international <laughs> business. Uh, we had trademark complications where two different companies with ProDrone in the name both uh, submitted trademark aspects within days of each other, and what happened is that we had some com or some countries gave the uh, trademark to one of the companies, wow. and other countries gave it to us. Uh, well, we can't operate that way, no. right? <laughs> so instead of having a prolonged legal battle trying to get that name, we said, let's stop it right now. We're changing our name immediately because we want to change everything in the factory, get the logos reset, get the rebrand out, and get these products shipped out as well, fast as we can. Because I okay. need the drone so that I can do a tech review on it. Absolutely. And Andrew needs it right, too, and exactly. we've been waiting. <laughs> and you, you've been waiting, we've yeah. had distributors waiting, we've had customers and, that have pre-ordered have been waiting, and, and we couldn't send it out because of the logo issue. And you don't want the Acura Honda mess. I mean, yeah. here it's Acura, there it's Honda, who knows? I, I What is it? I don't know. So this is great. Global Drone Union, I like that name a lot. Lot. And if I want to remind everybody about the product, you have the first and only foldable drone. So I've got it out here on the product table. Um, and here's the interesting thing. The reason why you only see two props is because the other two are folded. Correct. And, and, and that's what I love about this. You could just put this in a backpack. Uh, it's really, really spectacular. Now, it looks like you've got a, a proprietary camera on here, but one of the things that's great is that you guys can hang any camera with a gimbal on this, and we're not just talking any camera, we're talking DSLRs and mirrorless, so you could fly a Sony FS, uh, a A7S rather, Absolutely. Uh, A7S Mark II off of here, you could fly a Nikon, a Canon, whatever you want. A Black uh, Magic. A Black Magic. Wow. Yeah, you could make Black Magic with this. <laughs> yes! So uh, I'm going to let you take the reins here. White oh, wait. Magic. White Magic, yes. I'm going to let you take the reins here, Nicole. I'm going to give sure it to thing. you. And, uh, you know, tell, tell us about it, show us, show us what it does, and let's talk about the camera that's on that one. So the, the first thing I want to show everybody is, you know, how big that it does get. Yes. Uh, and because it's uh, size, it is very powerful. So this is uh, the reason why we can get those bigger Sonys. Four and a half pounds of payload we could potentially have on here. Wow. Now, obviously, everybody, that reduces uh, uh, the flight time sure. uh, because it is so much heavier. Uh, but when it really comes down to the modularity of this product is where it really shines for a lot of people. Um, every single gimbal mount is all uh, made the exact same. Uh, basically, this is the mount system. The template is the same for every single one. So I can, within seconds, switch from, this is the 1080, this is the, the, the GoPro version of us, if right, you will. Sure. Um, and then we can also have the advanced unit has a gimbal specific for a GoPro. Sure. Wow. And then we have another one that's ours specific for a 4K. Right. But then we've also got all the other gimbals that we'll, we'll probably have available uh, in full gimbal form, not just a static mount that connects to this, for the bigger cameras, for the mirrorless, for the DSLRs, in about Q3. So what's great is you can shoot, first of all, you can step up. You can, you can start with this and then, oh, I want to fly an A7S, especially because what happens when you start, you're not very good and you don't want to crash with an A7S. So you start with this, and then maybe for certain productions, you, especially lower budget stuff, you fly this. For bigger budget stuff, you fly the A7S or the, your 4K, and then you graduate, and you can kind of graduate as you get better as well. I like that a lot, and I like that it can be project specific, especially maybe this is better for certain projects. Maybe yeah. the A7S is better for certain projects. Maybe the Nikon's better. I think that's Indeed. a really good approach. You know, and really, uh, another aspect I'll show you here is when it comes to uh, the broadcasters that are here, we I mean, have even, even the I know. Yeah. we <laughs> have 
you know, we, we, we have in this world reality TV and stuff is becoming so much more popular, right? And it, it always was kind of popular, but it also requires everybody to get a little more creative. You know, you look at shows like uh, Naked and Afraid where yeah. they've really got to get into spaces that you simply cannot carry a huge drone in a big pelican box. This thing you can throw in a backpack and take it well, anywhere. It I mean, amazing. It is unbelievable, but look at our set here. You know, you could say, oh, you could bring another Pelican. No, we can't. We, we can't travel with another Pelican. It's too much stuff. So to be able to have something small that we can then take with us is, is really great. We had uh, just uh, uh, a little after uh, CES, yeah. we had uh, some of our crew go out to uh, Utah, yeah. and they went through uh, some of these areas that were waist deep in water and tiny little uh, uh, canyons and cra uh, caves that they were going through, getting footage on the other side of these kind of things with our, with our uh, now GDU bird. Um, and that is just simply something that you can't do with a lot of the other drones out mm -hmm. there. Uh, now, of course, if you need uh, amazing cinematography value uh, and you can carry Right. a huge amount of equipment with you. Yeah. You know, then, you know, I would say that, you know, the, the, the DJI Inspires and stuff are great products for that. Sure. Uh, but, but if you if need you could, that portability you, and you want to stick a black magic on, but you could you've got even better. You could fly an A7S off of this, so I'm not yes. sure that the this w might be as good, if not better, than the Inspire. Indeed, yeah. indeed. This is a lot lighter than I thought it would be, just holding it by itself. Yeah. But I'm glad you mentioned that with the heavier, bigger cameras, that obviously the flight time is less. Because that's important to think about. You know, I don't think that some people would even And another that. reason why being able to change gimbals is so important, <laughs> because if you need longer flight times, you can go with a, a lighter camera. You've got something else there that looks like uh, a, a, yeah. a, a, a so, lady's clutch purse. <laughs> I mean, so we wanted to show you know, the, the, the innovation and design ideas uh, that GDU has. Uh, this is a Dropbox, um, and it's something that we have that no other drill manufacturers have, is the ability to connect uh, a third party or uh, just other stuff to a drone. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you imagine uh, the use for this. If you're in uh, uh, search and rescue, yeah. and you have one of our uh, soon to be upcoming products uh, with a new camera, which is the uh, infrared camera, and you're searching for somebody, you find them. But you can't really call in coordinates from that. You can drop this from the air with the beacon inside it, and now your ground crews know exactly where to wow. go to find that lost That's person. Crazy. That if is. you need to drop them medicine, you also have this. Think of Hunger Games, right? Yeah. Here's the things <laughs> dropping out of the air. You, of, you can do that with, with our product. No other product can do that. Oh my gosh. Now, what we're also going to be thinking about is what we'll call GDU Custom, if you will. The box itself is interesting, but this little piece of metal, uh, which is you know super easy to manufacture, we can have anything attached to this drum. Whatever you want it to be, um, if you need it bad enough, we can manufacture it and get it onto this thing for you. So the niche and vertical markets that we can that we can uh, service. Unprecedented. This is why I love GDU, because you guys are thinking out of the box, you're pushing the limits, and, and you're innovative and pioneering. And you're always thinking, how can we make it better? How can we make it different? So I really do love what you guys are doing. How do people, what's the new website? How do people find out? How do they order? Yeah. So the new website is gdu-tech.com. Mm -hmm. Currently, because this has been such a quick decision on our part, um, it's going to just pretty much go back to prodrone-tech.com, probably for the remainder of NAB. But very quickly thereafter, it'll be fully rebranded. Everything oh, will be gdu-tech.com. Uh, on that list, we've got five or six different distributors that are ready to go. The new shipping date uh, is going to be May 15th. Actually, we'll probably have shipping before that. It's pretty close. But we're saying May 15th will be ship date, um, and that'll be for our standard unit that comes with the 1080p camera. Excellent. Well, I, I can't wait for mine. We, we can't wait to get it into your hands. We've been promising you I, I know. since Photo Plus. I know. And uh, we're going to get uh, one of the very first units off the production mill into your hands. I, I love it. I think that's a really good thing that your uh, consumers will be excited about. The fact that you guys turned it over so quickly, they took care of the issue, and whatever it is, it wasn't related specifically to the product, so, you know, they'll understand. Right. Right. We, we, we should maybe go fly tonight or something. Ooh. That sounds great. Yeah. Right in the Let's desert. Do it. Yeah. Oh, in the desert. It's white. I love that it's white. Yeah. Easy to see. Yeah, exactly. Nicole, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. My pleasure as always. You're awesome. <laughs> we'll be back with a whole lot more of your live continuing coverage of NAB 2016 on Be Terrific, presented by Data Video, right after this. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.